What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about farming the Oblivion portals here in Blackwood. This will be a map kind of showing the locations where they can spawn. These are random so they're not in any type of rotation like Harl Storms or uh, Dolmens or anything like that of uh, the geysers in Somerset. But once you're inside one you can stay in there and farm it for as long as you want. Now this uh, map here is posted in my discord so if you need to check it out again you can definitely join the discord and look at that we've got some other great information there as well some other maps and things to kind of help you out along the way while adventuring in blackwood now so what you need to do here to be able to stay in oblivion portal which most of you may already know this i thought that it would end uh as soon as you kill the final boss as you can see i'm here on the final boss uh what you can do is just kill this final boss go open the chest and sit here and wait for it to respawn I was assuming it would be like a horror storm. I was assuming it was going to be like any other thing we have in game. It's a world event that as soon as the last boss was dead, that it was going to remove you from the zone. But you actually can stay here and just farm this over and over. I actually logged out and came back in uh, in about an hour. I just logged out while I was in the Oblivion portal and it spawned me back in here. So once you're in here, you can sit here and farm this final boss as long as you want. And that is where the loot is going to come from. Uh, once you kill the boss, of course, you can go up and unlock the chest. I have got several Deadland motifs uh, for the new furniture or the new furnishing plans for the Deadlands uh, stuff. Now, those were selling for pretty high price here on console the first few days. The, cons uh, the first few days the DLC was released on console, they have dropped a little bit in price. I think it's because most people have kind of figured this out. You can just sit here and farm these, you know, type of things. The other things that you can get from in here, and it's the best thing in my opinion, is companion gear. I've gotten companion rings from this boss. Other people have gotten uh, staffs in here. Other people have gotten, uh, you know, gear in here for just your body gear, whether it be light, heavy, or medium. They've been posting it, uh, posting it, of course, once they get it in the kind of, you know, the zone chat here so you can sell it. Uh, a lot of people have been trying, just kind of showing it off. There's a lot of different things you can get from this chest. So make sure, if you did not know already, make sure once you're in here, you can continue just to farm this. You don't have to go out and find another Oblivion portal. Like I said at the beginning, they are random. They're not set to a normal spawn timer. So you can just sit here and farm this and make a lot of gold if you're wanting to sell a lot of these items or find a lot of good stuff. If you're a fan of, of furnishings like I am, you want to collect all these new plans. Uh, if you're trying to collect things for your, uh, you know, your companion, just be sure your companion is active. If your companion is put away, nothing in the game will will be able to drop companion gear. Your companion has to be out and active for companion gear to drop. And this is a great way to farm that companion gear and those motifs. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.